Guess who launched their practice at the bottom of the recession in 2008? I did. And guess who's here right now? So here's the five things you need to do to launch your practice during the coronavirus. It's like, holy shit, is this the worst time to launch a practice or what? Nope. <laughs> It's definitely not. If I had thought, oh, well, we're in a recession, I shouldn't start a cash practice. I should just go work for the man and make $38 an hour at the hospital. You wouldn't be <laughs> watching this right now, that's for sure. This would be a completely different video. I might not even be here. I might have quit PT already and gone back to be a motorcycle mechanic. How do you launch your business in the coronavirus? Number one, you need to commit. <laughs> Just make the commitment that you know there are patients out there that need physical therapy and that you will be successful. Okay, just commit to doing it. Don't dance around and be like, oh, maybe next week or when the time is right or after I pass the boards or, you know, as soon as I get $200 in, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, like, don't do that. Commit because one patient's worth minimum $1,500. Our patients are worth $2,000 for a plan of care, but they all refer like 1.8 new patients <laughs> or more. I mean, I've had patients that are worth tens of thousands of dollars because of the numbers of friends and family members they bring into us. And go all in because there's no better time than now because number two is you have to get your head out of What's the right analogy? You gotta get it out of the pond you were swimming in before. Patients don't have the same problems. They've got different problems. They still have back pain, but they think they have different problems and they have different reasons for wanting to come see you, that's for sure. Right now, it's not like people have been working out for eight weeks and they can't work out anymore. It's like they haven't been working out and they were trying to exercise more and their body hurts, their back hurts, their knee hurts, their knee hurts from running more when they didn't used to run that much. They don't wanna go, <laughs> hopefully, they don't wanna to go to a busy ER, urgent care center. What they need to do is come see you, <laughs> right? You need to be their solution to the crowded medical facilities. We're not playing golf anymore, we're playing tennis. So the problems change week to week, depending on what the regulations in your state. We don't have gyms, right? Gyms aren't open right now. So people are still having the, I can't go to the gym problem. In a few weeks, or in your state, you might have the gym just reopened problem. Thinking right now that I can't do it because no one has money, no one wants to pay for physical therapy, et cetera, blah, 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 is just gonna put you further in that hole that it's gonna be harder to climb out on. Remember, the money's still flowing. So number three, money's still flowing. Get okay with money. Get okay with asking money. Get your mindset right. Get your money mindset right. If you need a book to do it, go get Jen Sincero's You Are a Badass at Making Money book. Go get that book. Read it or listen to the audio book because you need to get your money mindset right. That's number three because everyone's afraid there's no more money. There's no more money. Zoom's got a ton of money right now. Amazon's got more money than they know what to do with. I've got plenty because... I I know where to go find it. And you have to remember that it's okay to ask for money in exchange for your help. Money is okay. People with money are not assholes. People that are assholes are assholes. Okay? People with money can do amazing things. Money is a tool for doing good. It can be a tool for doing bad. The more money you have, the more opportunities you have to do more good in the world. So figure out where to find it. Number four, you need to use a proven formula, a proven launch formula. You're so smart, like why reinvent the wheel? Take the formula and make it better. <laughs> Improve upon it, do me one better. Take my formula, don't steal it <laughs> and sell it as your own, but take it, use it, and then be like, okay, cool. That's done, now let me go out and create even bigger impact in the world because I'm gonna do something no one else has done yet. Number five, it's kinda of like having a proven formula, but what you really need is 
My belief is that you need a coach in the community to keep you accountable. Otherwise, you're going to still be waiting for some day. So part of that is putting your money where your mouth is, just like you're going to ask your patients to do for you. And you go out and you pay to learn business, to learn marketing, and to learn sales. And you put as much time, effort, and money into learning business, marketing, and sales that you did becoming a PT. If you've ever hesitated to get into a coaching program like mine or someone else's because it was cost a thousand dollars, but you've been to like a dry needling course or MFR course, or you've traveled across country, you go to a con ed, <laughs> then you're being kind of a hypocrite. You're putting more money into skills that are not going to improve your likelihood of having a successful business. You're putting money, you've been putting money and investing in skills that are going to help your patients get better. But at a certain point, you need to catch up on your business skills, your marketing skills, and most importantly, your sales skills. And sales skills are tied to the last one, the number three about money. Money and sales are kind of tied to the same thing because people don't want to get into sales because they're afraid of money. And so what you need to do is you need to get the information, you need to get the accountability, you need to get the coaching and the direction. Just like you had a clinical instructor for clinical skills, you need a business instructor for business skills.